Shall I tell you a story? It's the story of an orphan girl. It was sent to live in a mysterious house. If you cause me trouble, I'll have you sent away in an instant. You understand? Where she discovered something. Something magical. Something secret. But let me start at the beginning. My name is Mary Lennox, and my uncle owns this house. I'm Colin Craven, and the uncle you speak of is my father. My cousins. When was the last time you used your chair? I've never been able to walk. We could go outside and who knows? You might feel better. Who are you? I'm Diggin. I need you to keep a secret. Why have you just spat on yourself? If you are too much of a lady, then there's no... I'm no lady, sir. I'm trying to tell you. I know of a magical place. Capable of extraordinary things. I'd say that you were lying. Do you trust me? You know what you risk? It's worth the risk. The wall! Magic is on our side. Once, this house was filled with light, laughter, happiness. This garden needs to cure Colin. Your excitement could kill him. Colin needs to live. This house is a pretty. Beautiful. The house is... Magic. Secrets. Her. And those? Hypericum. Hypericum. <laughs> they sound better in your accent. Colin, there's a good friend I'd like you to meet. Hold it out, he'll come. He's here. The dog. Just hold it out. He wants to say hello. I can see. my hand. He does that. It tickles. <coughs> Hello to you too. <coughs> no, don't hurt him. It's just a friendly robin. Mrs. Medlock says you're cluttering up the place. 
She'd have me send you away to school. I don't want that, sir. I like it here. Then we will find you a governess. No, I've no need of a governess. I've too much to learn here at Misselthwaite, sir. This place has nothing to teach you. I want to play out of doors. It's too hot to do so in India. I'm obliged by law to have you taught. And we'll need to break the law, won't we? <laughs> 